Yeah, we, we went under 43 in the Denver Broncos-Pittsburgh Steelers game. First off, we're going to start off when we look at this game, the injuries. Philip Lindsay, he's one of those guys that he, on third down, he's third down back. He gets the reception, and third and four, he's big because he makes the first guy miss. He gets that first down. He's not going to be playing. He's a guy that makes plays. On the other side of the ball, we have James Conner, who got hurt for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He may not be playing. Same thing, he does damage on the ground, running the ball, and in the passing game, catching. So those are two playmakers that are not playing. Okay, now we go to Cortland Sutton for the Denver Broncos. He was uh, didn't play week one. He's under an injury report still. He was limited in practice. So he might not play, but even if he does, I'm not expecting him to be 100%. Okay, now we're looking at the Steelers offense line. They have some serious issues. The right tackle got hurt. He's out for the season. The right guard, the cash throw, didn't play week one. He's probably not going to play week two. Wisniewski, who was the backup for the Castro, who's, by the way, one of the best guards in the league, Wisniewski, he got hurt last game, and I think it was a, a peck issue. He might not be playing, which I don't think he is from everything I'm hearing. So we had the right tackle out, the right guard out. Now the backup right guard for the Pittsburgh Steelers is out as well, probably most likely. And Pouncey, their center, he didn't practice today as, at the time of recording this Wednesday. Five offensive linemen did not practice today on Wednesday for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And then Big Ben didn't practice. I don't know what – they said it was coach's decision. It could be, but I know last game we saw him limping a little bit on that one play. So it could be a factor of that. He could be a little banged up, along with Juju Smith, who didn't practice. So there's some key players are not practicing for this Steelers team. And then when you're looking at this team and both teams, they're both coming off short, short weeks. They played Monday. Now it's a short week. They might come out a little sluggish, a little tired, a little slow. So it's going to be definitely a big factor. Now we have Bradley Chubb, who uh, they're going to up his snap count. And he's going to be coming after the Pittsburgh offensive line that's really hurt. And they're going to apply some pressure and exploit that weakness, I believe. So Steelers going to have a tough time moving the ball. And on top of that, we look at uh, the Steelers. And we look at their game last week. They won 26-16. And against the Giants defense, and now they're versing a tougher defense in Denver, much tougher than the Giants defense. Okay, we have uh, last week we saw them uh, against Tennessee Titans, and we saw them do a good job. They have seven QB hits on Tannehill, three sacks, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, but they had seven QB hits. They came in, and that game was 16 14. Okay, now the Denver Broncos, like I said, they versed Tennessee Titans, and the Titans defense is not as good as Pitt. We know Pitt has some, they have some guys down there that pass rush is going to be coming. So we're looking at this. On top of that, we look at Denver. They had a fumble at their own 20, and that um, resulted in a touchdown for Tennessee. Easy opportunity, which probably won't be happening. It's a rare occurrence. So the way I see it, this game, everything to me points to the under. And also like Denver plus seven and a half. I think they're going to come out. They're going to exploit Pitt's offensive line. And I think those are the two moves that are two of the best moves on the board for this week.